Mind. Hello, everyone. Pally Tub here, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Remember the carnival we were in last episode? We ended up being attacked by a doppelganger clown. The leader of this carnival came up to us, and she was like, Can you find my real clown? Because I don't know what happened to him. Well, my favorite vendor here, Popper, I don't know how I didn't notice this the first time through. There's so many bugs flying around it. Popper has a severed hand behind him. So I don't know if this little guy is the culprit. I don't know if he just happened to stumble across this hand. He did say very clearly that uh, he robs from dead people. Like, he admitted that. He was very upfront about that. And I appreciate that honesty. Uh, but I'm going to take that hand. It was nice of him to turn around. Did he notice? Is this some kind of display? Get Does Popper have anything to say about that? Clown man is dead. Oh well. <laughs> Want a treat home? <laughs> oh, that's a little callous, my dude. Why? I die, you die, we all die. Big wolf. Have a treat home. It'll make it better. All right, I'll have a treat up. I'll have a treat up. He's such a good salesman. He's so convincing. Yes! What can I buy from you, little friend? Oh my God, he has a beholder iris. Dang. I've never seen this before. Elixir of cloud giant strength increases strength to 27. You have to pay a premium for that. That's 400 gold. I wonder how you make those. Bye bye now. Come back to Papa soon. Will do. That's my favorite little NPC. One thing I did not notice when we were moving through here because I was going by and talking to every NPC, I even panned my camera right across it. There was a back gate right back here, an iron fence. I wanted to see what was on the other side of this before we ventured off as well. Not the hardest lock to open, only need a 10. We rolled a 31, I think that'll do. <laughs> no, broken statue. There is a grave. Is that where our little clown friend went off to? Biscuits? Oh, they left little cookies on the tomb. On the, on the... Headstone? Is that what that's called? A headstone? There is a remedial potion over in the corner. And a chest. We also have some stained glass walls here. Hey, another eye, I'll take it. And an entrance into that building. But look at this view. Oh my goodness. Is that a wrecked ship? Can I go down to that? It kind of looks like I can. There's some blood on the ground down there. Oh, and a staircase that does lead all the way down. We're definitely going to check that out. I thought I was going to be heading into Baldur's Gate first thing, but it seems like there's still a lot more to see out here. This door, I'm not allowed in here. But that's never stopped me before. This almost looks like a... Like, uh, <gasps> the open hand temple? Is this monks? Monks, dude, where are the monks? Hey, Brother Donick, hey. I've said all I have to say already. Now I just want to pack up my kitchen and leave. I've never spoken to you. Why are you packing up your kitchen? Soup kitchen's no good if we've no one to feed soup to. Besides, Father Lorgan's gone. Murdered. And now they're blaming a refugee for it. Oh my goodness. Can you think of anyone who'd want to kill him? Or where did the attack happen? Let's do that. He was attacked in the cellar. He had a private altar down there. He used to like the solitude. <laughs> the man ate like a horse. A soup-hungry horse. <laughs> Usually took enough to feed a small clergy down there. Well, there's... De yeah, that's definitely blood. Let's go see. They think a refugee did it. I don't have the best investigation skills, I will admit that. Uh, I cast Dark Vision on Zen. Man, that's two key points? That's ridiculous. Uh, that's not the body, right? No, that's just some rags. A lot of booze bottles all dumped into the middle of the room. Even more over here. I mean, this is a monastery. I guess that's not too weird. Oh, uh, even more blood in the next room. Leads all the way up. Oh, there's a quarterstaff there. The rites of passing. Sheet music, a hand drop. This place looks like it would be awesome back in the day. 
A silver glass that definitely had a liquid in it. What about through these double doors? Just looks like some, some tombs in here. This looks kind of suspicious, right? Oh, there's even blood leading up to the torch. I wonder if that opens. Let's see if we can find any way of opening it. I'm gonna turn all the lights on. Also over here in another room. Hello, a trap on a display case. Why would you need to trap this in the bit? Oh, I did not see what that roll was before I started spam clicking. That was a 20, I'm glad we got it. So what's in the display case that you would need to booby trap it? Another 20 to open this lock. That's one of the hardest locks I've ever seen. We got through it, no problem. An elixir of viciousness. The number you need to roll to land a critical hit is reduced by one, replaces the effect of other elixirs when drunk. Man, if you were playing that, uh, I don't know the name of the spec, but there's a, a um, fighter spec that's a fighter subclass that makes it so you only need to roll 19s to crit. That would make it 18s. Just keeps making it better. Oh, hello, 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 hello. Where are we going? <laughs> I knew there was something behind that wall. That was a suspicious looking wall. We have a bronze goblet and some gold. Bronze goblet's worth 30, that's not bad. Jumping across to the other side. Where was the wall? It wasn't this way, right? Be patient, child, soon. Someone named Zom over on the other side? Muzz and Rudd. It looks like a halfling. This was the wall right here. I still don't see any way of opening it. Oh, lever. Never mind. <laughs> Solve that puzzle real fast. You know what? Zen's going to uh, drink a potion just before he continues. It's getting a little spicy over here. Let's use up these level one potions we've been carrying around the entire game. Just in case this doesn't go exactly to plan. I want to get a good look at this cave too. So three guys off to our right. It looks like a pass that goes even deeper into the mountain over there. Chest on the far side. And I think that's all Zen would really be able to see from here. So let's get closer. What are they talking about? Oh, he's masked. That's not a good sign. And again, you know how I said, you know how I said, you yellow outlines don't mean shit. I got close to this and look at that. They turned to red. Papa Pally knows what he's talking about every now and then, boys. Okay. He knows what he's talking about every now and then. I'm going to go invisible. Cloak of shadows. As long as I stay in the shadows, we should be fine. I'm going to jump to the high ground here and try to make my way up to this little halfling just to see what he does. This is Rudd. He's probably going to go look for me, which is fine. He won't find me. Actually, just moved down a little bit. Oh, that's covered in blood. You guys got a lot of blood down here. Oh, oh, and it just keeps going that way. They dragged some corpse over in that direction. Okay, I will wait here patiently. Hello, Rudd, welcome back. It was not a trick of the shadows. It was really me all along, Rudd. Oh no, Rudd. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> All right, who's next? Zen moves down to the low ground. We know they're going to be looking for me. Was that a surprise round two? So I think I'll get to go again. Someone was. I think it was a surprise. I'm going to bet that it was a surprise round. I'm going to swing. Whoa, with our wisdom modifier. That was a critical hit too. But with our wisdom modifier, that is fucking ridiculous. I swing again and get another kill. Yeah, I'd be surprised too, little buddy. I'd be surprised too. I sure would. Uh, if I can, what's the best way of doing this one? Oh, <laughs> yeah, just go invisible again. <laughs> Move away from that. Where did he go? Wait, Zed, what are you doing? I love Please. solo exploring on this character. I really could see me doing a playthrough where it's just me as a character very akin to Zen. 
Shadow Monk Assassin again, maybe? Where I just sneak around the entire game like this. I think I could do it. I think I could knock it out. Just a one-man party. I, I really do. Crawler Mucus, as well as a field report from Death Stalker Zum. These were doppelgangers, I just noticed. They were doppelgangers, just like the clown. Oh, that's a good sign. Are we on the right path here? Oh my God, does that mean a doppelganger killed the leader of the monks here? Uh, coat your active weapon with a poison. Must succeed a constitution saving throw or be paralyzed and poisoned. Well, that seems very potent. Let's read this. As Sprint Dollar is talented, if a touch careless, the dagger he discarded lurks within these caves somewhere, though I know not where. I could smell it. The fear musk from his kills stands in the air. After the act, he lets them marinate first. They stand, they stand, lie, sit, stock still as the poison fills their limbs with lead. Knowing only two perfect facts, they are going to die and there is nothing they can do about it. That is messed up. Oh, Cloud Severed Torso. Oh my God, he has been down here. Oh. Also, all of these statues, they smeared blood on their eyes as if they were crying. These guys are fucking weird. The effigy of Ilesaria. Did I say that right? I don't think I did. Who watched and waited. What use her eyes? She thought herself a huntress, but couldn't fathom her wool. Below is an exaggerated signature written in blood from Orin the Red. Well, I guess I'm going to send this over to Shadowheart. Even Carlac's inventory is getting pretty heavy. We should probably try to go to a merchant soon. Well, the trail of blood goes deeper into this place, and there's even more bodies over here. I don't think there's anyone still living. Looks like some tieflings. This is Brekka? Looks like they were Redil? Didn't work. Dear Mysus Priest, this letter is written in careful and erratic hand of a newly learned writer. Mum says I need to thank you more, so thank you! Thank you for telling off the nasty woman who was shouting all those nasty things at me. That's three times I've wrote thank you now. Four! So I think mom will be happy. One more thing. Did you see my teddy anywhere? I think I dropped it during the shouting. Oh, God. This is three tieflings in here. I don't know if I recognize them. Are they part of the caravan? Yeah, I don't... I don't think I recognize their names. Why were they killed in here? Look at this hand symbol. Oh, my God. There's a really gnarly cloud down there, but also some toadstools. I could just barely make the jump from here. Oh, but I took 26 damage from the gas. Oh, it's from a vent down. Oh God, I need to get out of here quick. I need to get out of here quick. Go, go. <laughs> okay, we almost died. All right, <laughs> all right. Hey, we're down to the lower path. Um, How are we doing on potions? I'm going to use a short rest and then drink a few more of these. Yeah, there we go. Welcome now, what is this way? This is the cave mouth. Oh, this goes to an entirely different area. This is probably another way I could have found this cave. Oh, where are we? Oh, we're down by the ship. I think I don't have a very good angle. Maybe we are. Oh yeah, this is looking really promising. Bro, I'm loving the environments in Act 3 already. Another quake. What's going on? That quake can't be good. The fact that we see that little it's oh. the Elder Brain. There's something happening to it. Yeah, I was about to just make that same consensus. Ooh. Fishing rod. And over encumbered. I don't know how, am I, how I'm supposed to reach it, but there is a heavy chest inside this boat right here. Oh, I guess just like that. This one's trapped on the other side. When one of your cantrips deals acid, cold, fire, lightning, or thunder damage, add your spell casting modifier to the damage dealt. That does seem pretty good. Uh, the only cantrip I really use on a reliable basis is Eldritch Blast, which is force damage, unfortunately. But hey, some potions. I needed those very bad. Thank you. 
I think this path here up the mountain range leads all the way back to the carnival, but there's an even bigger cave further down the beach that I want to see too. Okay, not quite back to the carnival, but this is back to the main street. That is... Actually, I have no... Oh yeah, just further down from the carnival. We're not too far away. God, there's so many NPCs here. Oh my God. I don't think I'm doing a very good job of solving that murder. Unless it was just the doppelgangers. Did I already figure it out? Did I crack the code? Are the doppelgangers responsible for every bad thing now? I wonder where they're coming from. A fresh corpse. That kind of looks like a monk too, right? Perception check successful. There's a blast mine further up on the path. All right, I'm going to pick up one of these baskets and we'll just throw it onto the blast mine. Wow, chain reaction of them. Oh, and it looks like we're not done yet. Okay, uh, this is a vent. Can I can disarm the vent. Why is this so trapped? A 31, holy crap. That was a 30 to disarm. That was the hardest vent I have ever seen. Oh, I'm scared. Perception successful, but I think all of them have already gone off. Is somebody there? Friend or foe, guildsman or stone bastard? Dying stone lord thug, gravely wounded. I'm gonna approach slowly. We don't know if there's any more traps. I mean, shit, he might be a trap. You okay, bud? Oh, no. Uh, come to finish the job. <laughs> Accusing an innocent passerby is an interesting survival strategy. No one's innocent round here. Uh, maybe you're better than most. Uh, by the gods, it hurts. Help me, please. Bro, if you pull that out, you're gonna bleed out. You only have one health. I am, I am not a healer, my dude. What do you want me to do? Finish this. I can't stand the pain any longer. <sighs> Get this blade out of me. Use it. Kill me. Kill me now. There's something strange about the man dying before your eyes. Though in agony, he seems to be enjoying this. That's very strange. Surrender to your urge. Slice him, bleed him, eviscerate him. He has to die anyway. I mean, what's the harm? I'll put you out of your misery, friend. Don't you worry. What are you doing? Stop! No! Ah! 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 What do you mean, what am I... <laughs> Stop it. That tickles. He pulled the knife out! Wait, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> ah! Bro? Oh, that's not good. It's one of the dead, too. That's not good. Look I'm by you. myself. Come crawling home, hand stained with the Bone Lord's soot. And you carry his stone. Even with your head knee tumbled, you tickle and torture so brutishly. A blunt and tasteless slaughter. I could end it now, but I'll be patient. Father will see us together again. He will see you bleed. Father will see us together again. Oh, she's just gone. Okay. So Aaron is a shapeshifter. How long has she been watching? Ugh. Did she do all of this? Did I just show up at the wrong time? Oh, it looks like there's even more traps inside and a lot of fog. Oh, look at the trip wire. I'm gonna go high. What is this place? Like a little smuggler's den maybe? Crap. I wonder how many other times we've run into that girl and just didn't know because she's a shapeshifter. Maybe she's in charge of all of the doppelgangers. 
Decapitated, but still warm. Oh God, that means whoever killed this. I mean, it may have just been her, right? Bro, there's another ship this way. And it looks like it has the cursed, the cursed oh, darkness on it. Was it Moonrise Towers, if I'm not mistaken? The same ship was at Moonrise Towers. No shit. Do we see anyone else nearby? Looks like those two are about to fight. Those two? Oh. Charming Latham. Do I notice any familiar faces over here? I don't think I do. Hey guys, what's going on? Nobody messes with the Stone Lord rattling. Nine Fingers sent her love, asshole. Your Stone Lord's a dead man walking. You, help me kill these asses. The guild will sprinkle you with gold. I mean, I feel like. I feel like I don't know anything about this. <laughs> it's so funny that the Dark Urge would say, can we all just get along, man? I'd rather not get involved in whatever this is. Too late, Cook. Nobody but us leaves this place alive. Oh my God. Nobody but us. Well, it seems as though we have some very clear enemies here. A day is coming out onto Charming Latham as Shiv Dahlia goes in with that club for some big damage. Zen is not at the start of this turn order. I am not used to that at all. And it looks like Bludgeon is using a bow at close range. Well, we're going in for a sneak attack. She's reckless attacking, so I'm gonna land everything. I have advantage on everything all the time. Let's hit her too with the Fists of Fury. And I'll go ahead and end my turn there. There are a lot of ranged uh, weapons pointing towards me. It looks like the first shot is coming towards me. We try to deflect the missile. We take no damage and then we return it to Cinder. Oh, couldn't do it again though. Critical miss. The guild owns this city. So the Was that your war cry and then you set yourself on fire? That was one of the worst throws I have ever seen in my life. So, we've encountered the guild before. Ouch, ouch, ouch. That's pretty painful. We've encountered the guild before. And they were basically organized crime in the That I need to leave. I need, I need to leave this right now. I need to get the fuck out of here right now. This is, this is not good. This is not good. This is not good at all. Crap. Hey, good kill. Nice. Please don't kill me. I'm up soon. I'm up soon in the turn order. Uh. I cast darkness here. Yes, I cast darkness right here. They're blinded. I slipped and I died. No, I fucking slipped and lost my concentration. Oh, no. well, well, come get me guys. It's a bit of a long walk. Looks like that neutral party has been completely taken out. We're only in combat with one of these guys right now, but there's a lot more of them running around. It looks like they're trying to move cargo off of the ship right now. Envoy of the Stone Lord up ahead. I feel like I've heard the name the Stone Lord a few times, but I don't really understand what it means just yet. Uh, Karlak is not able to reach the other side, so we're going to use her crossbow to deal some damage here on old flicky eyes across from us. Uh, we'll at least get some damage out. I think we're going to aggro some more dudes pretty soon. He's going to use Acid Splash on Karlak. She does not take any damage, but we do see Shadowheart taking a little bit of that AoE. Let's go ahead and cast a Sacred Flame on this guy. I'm going to try to keep my distance if I can and uh, not get too close to him. Eldritch Blast does find an angle through the middle and we hit him for eight. Let's see if he continues to approach us. Karlak is not able. Oh, if I hit him in the knee, he took an arrow to the knee through the middle of this thing, then I do still have line of sight. He's concentrating on Hunter's Mark, even though we hit him with that ranged attack, it did not get rid of it. We see another acid splash on Karlak. She once again doesn't feel anything as Shadowheart takes seven more damage. Uh, let's fire again. That time, wait, Divine Poison? I could just do that on every attack? I thought it was just my weapon. Ooh, and then we'll get an Eldritch Blast from Will. 
Only one of them connecting again. I feel like that happens so much to me. Like, the fact that I can shoot two of those things doesn't really seem to matter. Only one of them ever hits. This guy does seem pretty good at dodging those. Carlac fires off two of her crossbow bolts and only hits one more time. This time we both saved on the acid splash and he re-upped his hunter's mark. Let's sacred flame. Low chance to hit, but we hit. All right, we see Zen pathetically killed on the ground. I gotta find a res scroll, hold on. Oh, why did he immediately get brought into combat? Oh my God, Zen's gonna fall back and go invisible if he can find some shade. In fact, I don't have an action, so Zen's just gonna continue to run away. Uh, Shadowheart has been seen by Blunt Scuncher over on the high ground. I believe it might be in my best interest to get Will involved in this fight right now too. It seems as though they aren't communicating their needs very well. There we go, both of them hitting that time for over 20 damage. Uh, Karlak is not seen at the moment. We're gonna sneak her up on the other side of this guy just to try to deal some damage. Zen is going to stay as far back as possible. Although no one in my party has aid yet. <gasps> it looks like they have a secret pass that they're storing some of these, probably smuggling cargo into the city. Huge hit for 27 damage. We swing again and Karlak put it into that problem pretty fast. Uh, let's gather everyone together over here. Hopefully staying outside of that guy's sight range. You guys are playing fast and loose over here. Settle down. We're gonna do a level four aid. That'll give us all increased max HP. And then I'm gonna do a level four heal. Just, and just get rid of all of my spell slots right away. We'll do a level three, one, two. Slowly just heals in back up. I just do not have. We'll do a little two. We'll do one of each spell slot. I do not have the resources to keep chugging potions like I have been. Well, the entire party is here now, and we've systematically taken out a few of these smugglers already. Uh, everyone's going to crouch down. Let's get Pass Without Trace cast on Zen. Oh, it's an AoE. Okay, sweet. Pass Without Trace. Everybody sneak down. He's not looking this way at all, although that little shit running through might. Uh, Zen is going to... Uh, let's do turn-based mode. Split up my party. Zen's going to approach. He's going to do a bonus action dash just so he can get there in time. I don't want this little guy to move around anymore. Sometimes when you do turn-based mode, it seems like there's a, an area limit to it. And I'm glad we caught that guy. So we're in position for a sneak attack. Can Karlak get up here too? She's going to be a little short, it looks like, but we can start to throw something if we need to. Shoot our, our shoot our crossbow if we need to. I think her positioning's fine. And then Shadowheart's just going to get a little bit closer to... Although I just realized... Oh, I didn't even see this grease here. Holy crap. I just realized that this is the guy that had that massive AOE, so maybe I shouldn't be grouping up this closely. Either way, Zen opens up with a sneak attack for 22 damage. He's surprised. Imagine that. We're going again for another sneak attack for 32 damage. An offhand swing for 20 damage. And then just a simple unarmed kick. And we finish off that target very 16 damage on that unarmed kick. Oh my God. Zen is now invisible. This guy's gonna come up here and check that out. So we'll just move to the side. Here he comes dashing in. In fact, he didn't dash in. He just stood there with his dash. We get a sneak attack from range. On to the half foot. 37, what? What? Oh. What can't you do? It seems weird to say that after I died in this exact same conflict, but oh my god, Zin's damage is just nutty. Karlak moves up with a 21 crit as well, and it seems as though we've taken down every person that was on this ship. All right, what can we learn about them? They have gold. Moving ahead. Wooden chest on board. It does seem like there's some residual magic going on in this place. You see that? That does look like the Shadow Curse. Uh, an arrow of aberration slaying, as well as some other arrows. A scrap shrapnel grenade. 
Let's disguise self on Shadowheart right now. Man, she has so many spells. We're gonna be a human. And then we will speak with dead with that corpse. The corpse has nothing to nothing say. Nothing to say? He was the leader of the smugglers? Nothing? No context? So envoy of the Stone Lord. So we can probably put together that they were smuggling things into the city for the Stone Lord. Man, that is so cool. <laughs> when you miss, you deal one bludgeoning damage anyway. I like that. Do not fail a letter in his inventory. The guild has caught wind of our activities down by the river. The Stone Lord has personally requested that if you see any visitors, that you see off any visitors, excuse me. I have heard murmurings that your dockside crew began to doubt the tales around the Stone Lord's capabilities. Keep your shipment secure, and he will not need to come down in person to make a demonstration. Do you think he might show up here? Mind Flayer Parasite Specimen. Wait, what kind of shit are you guys smuggling? I'll take that. You can now consume Mind Flayer Parasites from your inventory to unlock new illithid power. Yeah. Yeah, I've been able to do that for a while now. Looks like we can speak with dead with some of the other bodies here. The corpse regards you lifelessly. What were you here for? I don't know. Something valuable. But you don't know. Just something valuable. What were you doing here? Seizing their hole. The nine fingers. Oh, these were the guild. So the guild doesn't know why they came down here. They just know that the Stone Lord is smuggling something. Who are you fighting? The Stone Lord's men. Interlopers. Well, who is the Stone Lord? Fury. Threat to everyone. So it's probably a good thing that we came down here and messed up this shipment. And who are you? Falling from the guild. The spell's power. Spell's power wanes. Is this part of the... This is an archer that died. They're also probably part of the guild. I don't know if we'll get anything else out of them here, but we'll try. What were you doing here? Observing. Spying. Disguised. Harper infiltrated the guild. Uh Oh, the Harpers are still around. That's good. At least I didn't kill all of them off. That that would have been that would have been bad. What was the fighting about, or who were you fighting? What was the fighting about? Control, smuggling valuables. Who were you fighting? Stone Lord's thugs, threat to us all. We made the city a safer place. You see that? You see that? I'm going into the passageway. Looks pretty cramped in there. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff inside. A lot of paintings, someone hanging. I'm not seeing any enemies. Tiger Mist, Valley with Brook, Forgotten Temple, and Cabin in Motion. If you examine these, can you see them fully? Oh yeah, you can. I thought that picture was gonna be a lot heavier. Oh, some poutine. We're taking that. I mean, smuggling paintings? That seems pretty... Oh. Perception failed. Perception successful. Good job, Zen. Proud of you. We're going to disarm that trap immediately. That's a 15. Oh, God. We got exactly what we needed. <gasps> bone spike boots. You have a plus one bonus to armor class and saving throws as long as you're not wearing armor or holding a shield. You also get brutal leap. These are going onto Karlak right now. That does mean that she's not able to misty step anymore. So let's give these to Shadowheart. And now Shadowheart can Misty Step along with her Divine Guardian. That might be really, really fun. So is the big pile also trapped? It literally just says treasure chests. I thought there'd be so much more gold in that. Oh my God. They've also been practicing their dagger skills. Oh, I can cut this guy down, it looks like. Maybe. Oh, that's part of the tent. I can shoot him down. 
The rope took zero damage, though. And he doesn't count as his speak with dead targets, so he can't figure out why he was hanged. Mind. And, well, in it. <gasps> Look at that! There's more! There's more to this place! Well, this was just the beginning we're heading down. This must be where they keep the good stuff. Or... Is this just another way in? Dream mist? What is that? Some kind of concoction? I'll take their food. We do need some supplies. I need to start resting more. Uh, Smuggler's Manifesto. Can we read that? The rules. Don't forget. Stick to the Sword Coast if you don't want to trigger an all-out war and draw attention to the higher-ups of the castle. No backstabbing. No ratting. No stealing from each other. You get what you're given. No skimming off the top. Trust that you will get your share. Highest value goods come first. Don't go shuffling bread if there's a jewel rush. We're not a bakery. I don't really know what that means. Keep the camp tidy. We don't want anyone following the trail of gold back to tell no one is written on this thing over here. A map pointing to a secret breach in the wall of Worms Rock Fortress. It looks like it could lead to the prison and from there, the inside of the fortress itself. I don't think I could take this boat. I think this is all for show. But we may have found a secret entrance into a place because of all of this. This is the front of the Open Hand Monastery. They even have their symbol in like statue form up front. You could help us at least let the children in. Oh, they're not letting anyone in the temple? Is that what's happening? Hey, this is also, is this where the necklace wants to go? We've been carrying this necklace around since Act One. Let's talk to it. Thou shalt return to me. <laughs> Thou shalt have my blessing. Hey, bud. I found Worms Crossing. Where's your granddaughter exactly? Shira hath devoted her body and soul to Elmata. Find her at the Open Hand Temple. Nice. Okay, Shira is in here somewhere. Oh, even at the top of the tower. A burnished necklace. And a bundle of letters. Oh, there's even blood up here. What the heck? Uh, Will, can we get a feather fall, please? Thank you, sir. Now let's all hop down. We should be fine. Ah, oh, nice. A tressin. Better mouses than garden variety cats, or so I've heard. Have you? Zen is going to drink another potion of animal speaking and have a word with the Tressum. Um, meow. Meow. You notice the Tressum guards a shiny ring and oh, a yeah. stack of letters at its feet. I noticed that from up there. What are you doing here, Kitty? Kitty? How vulgar. You can call me... Actually, it's better if you don't call me at all. That'll be all, thank you. Wait, that's it? What? That? What? That'll be all? From the look of those letters, one might guess you were responsible for the post's house missing pigeons. One needn't guess. Pigeon meat is my second favorite. I didn't even know there were. What's your first favorite? That's funny. Beholder. But it's exceedingly rare to come by. Uh, but let's not get bogged down in semantics. I believe you were just leaving, weren't you? Ta! <laughs> I'm not leaving until you agree to stop hunting pigeons. I feel like I don't care, but I'm going to do it anyway. It's a 20 or a 15. We roll the four. Okay. Well, I guess I am going to be leaving. I'm definitely not using my reroll on that. But don't expect me to entertain you. She's like, it's fine if... You Wait, she literally left. Wait, what? What the fuck? There was a bundle of letters. There's three in here. A concerned citizen tries to clarify his economic situation so that they are taxed accordingly. It's a nightmare of epic, epic proportion that would make an accountant cry. A lengthy letter from a Baldurian 
Patriar to an unknown correspondent and describes in no uncertain terms how both parties could profit from war. For special and direct attention of Roa Moonglow only. Look, Roa, you city Zent have always been consummate professionals to me, so I don't understand why the Watkins rest cell is so useless. I was supposed to receive several items from them a few days ago, but have heard absolutely nothing. Could you put out some feelers? Zara doesn't answer my correspondence anymore. Signed, Danzo. What about the shiny ring? Oh, and the blood is literally just pigeons. It's just pigeon blood. Hey, Brother Donick, should I talk to you? Look, I need to finish up here. Lots of soup to clean up. Blood, too. Yeah, I found those intruders down there. They were doppelgangers, my dude. I killed them. Oh, good. More blood to <laughs> clean up, I suppose. <laughs> Wait, that's it? That's it? That's your only reaction? I solved the murder for you? Come on! I'm gonna use Speak With Dead on the corpse. I'm assuming there won't be any, like, moral issues here. I don't think anyone confronts you about it, even though there was a person sitting right there looking at it. Just a few quick questions. This is the guy that was murdered. So, what were you doing when you died? Hiding Brilgorn from fists. Hiding Brilgor? Oh, that's weird. Why were you hiding it? Must protect innocence. Ilmater's will. Where'd you hide him? Took him to the tunnel with the rest. Oh, fool, fool. So I think we already saw all of this. How'd you die? A poison blade. Paralysis. And we looted that poison. All right. Who killed you? Do you know his doppelganger? Dwarf dressed in red. And he goes back the to sleep. The spell's power waves. You can ask no more questions. I have checked literally every inch of this monastery, both above, below ground, and on the roof, and this guy's granddaughter is not here. I don't know if she can go to other places. My quest log even says, when you reach the, you have reached the open-end temple, you should look for his granddaughter. I've looked everywhere. I've talked to everybody. There, no one is his granddaughter. I've even split up my party. I'll have, like, Shadowheart stand here. And then, like, Will go over to this room. Yeah, this one over here. Carlac goes over here. And then Zen goes to the front. This allows me to basically see every single NPC in this place on the map, right? Because I'm, I'm within range of them. But nothing, dude. Nothing. I suppose something bad could have happened to her as a direct or indirect course of our actions. But either way, she's not here now. We uncovered a smuggling ring. Oh, we see p heroic picture of Gortosh over here. Is dead. This does not bode well. Don't be shy. This does not bode well. Something in the well? What's in the well? Wait, we just went down the... Oh my god, a murdered refugee. There's another pit here? I also just noticed a trail of blood leading up this hill, so perhaps we'll... S yeah, even there. Perhaps we'll find more of the clown pieces over that way. Either way, I'm going to wrap up this video right here. I'm kind of disappointed I couldn't find that guy's granddaughter. I looked for uh, 45 minutes. 45 minutes of recording time. Me just kind of poking around, trying to look in every little crevice. I'll see you guys next time. We're getting closer to the entrance of the real Baldur's Gate.